I present to you, flight! <laughs> Up! Come on! Fly! He might be a little heavy for those wings to work, Leo. Then maybe I just need bigger wings. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari! Hi, Leo! There's a huge moth in my window with part of its wing missing. Oh, no! Is it hurt? Hmm, hard to say. We'll need more information on this moth. Stay on the line, Zari. See you later, hero. <laughs> Let's see what type of moth it is. Oh, it's an atlas moth. The atlas moth is one of the biggest moths in the world. It's most commonly found in Southeast Asia. Female moths are larger than the males. The males have a wider, longer, and more feathery antenna than the females. It seems the atlas moth that Zari found is a male. The wings of the atlas moth have different shades of red and brown, and they look like maps. That's how the moth got its name, Atlas, which is a collection of maps. So how can we help the moth? Let's figure it out together. We'll be right there. Ranger out. Let's help the Atlas moth fly again. <laughs> I'm fluttering down right now. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Hi guys, thanks for coming! Is the Atlas Moth okay? <gasps> it's trying to fly! It's okay, Hero. It won't hurt you. It just wants a place to rest. I think we can fix this. Really? How? We'll just make him new wings. You know how to make wings? Ta-da! Made these myself. And have they worked so far? No. Maybe we should patch it up. Oh, no! I don't have any plasters left. Only bandages. Those are too big. Oh, would these work? Cool. Maybe this one? Nope. Maybe a triangle will fit? Bingo! Fly, Moth. Fly! Yay! We did it! Maybe the damaged wing won't be a problem if the moth is stronger. We could feed it so that it'll regain more energy. Good idea, Katie. But what do moths eat? Leaves? I've seen caterpillars eat leaves and they turn into moths. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. Come on, one bite. Here comes the food train. Choo choo. Having trouble, Junior Rangers? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What are you doing here? I was testing the wind speeds to see how it affects flying animals. What are you up to? We're trying to help this Atlas Moth fly again. We tried patching up its wing and feeding it, but it won't eat. I know someone who may be able to help. Let's call my friend Ranger Joey, the ranger who's no stranger to flying animals. Hi, Ranger Joey. Oh, hi, Ranger Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Our Junior Rangers found an atlas moth with a piece of its wing missing, and they're trying to help it fly again. 
Hmm. Well, actually, depending on how damaged the wing is, usually moths can still fly, even if their wings are torn or if there is a piece missing. Their wings are very special. Not only do they look like maps, but the tips of their wings also look like snakeheads. So, when a predator, like a bird or a lizard attacks, the atlas moth will flap its wings to make it look like a moving snake, scaring off its predators. Smart, huh? <laughs> but since it's daytime now, your moth is probably just resting and saving its energy for later because atlas moths are nocturnal, which means they are more active at night. And adult atlas moths do not eat. They don't have fully formed mouth parts. That's right. As caterpillars, they'll eat as much as they can to give themselves enough energy to last about one or two weeks as adult moths. During that time, they'll have to find others of its kind to reproduce more moths. That's not a lot of time. We need to help the Atlas moth find a girlfriend right now. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Ranger out. Ranger out. I have to fly back to my wind research. You got this, right? Yes, Ranger Rocky. Bye. Goodbye. Let's begin our search for the moth's girlfriend. Where do we find one? The forest is our best bet. Let's go. Found one. Now they just have to meet. <gasps> oh, no! Jetpack, activate! Oh, no, you don't! You're not getting past me! Shoo! Shoo! You're not getting to our friends! There's one more! What's he doing? And our job here is done. Bye, Atlas Moths. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we helped the Atlas Moth find a girlfriend. Whee! Katie? Woohoo! How did you get them to work? <laughs> it's a secret. Come on, Katie, tell me. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. You'll feel much better after drinking some water. <gasps> What's that? Oh, what are you doing here? Are you making my plant sick? I can't let that happen. Come here, hero. I've got the perfect hat for you. Stop moving. <laughs> we just want to take a funny photo together. Come back. This isn't working. We need to... Forget it, Katie. I give up. Yeah. We just won't have a... Charge! <laughs> oh. Uh, oops, sorry. Wrong number. Wait, it's me, Leo. Oh, hi, Leo. What's up, Junior Ranger Zari? There's a strange insect in my room. I think it's making my plant sick. Whoa, it looks like an alien from another planet. Alien insect? Interesting. We definitely need to find out more about it. To the treehouse. Stay on the line, Zari. See you later, hero. Find out what this alien insect is. Oh, it's a praying mantis. Praying mantises have two large eyes, three much smaller eyes, and a triangular head, which gives them an alien look. As they grow into adults, 
praying mantises go through a process known as molting. When it molts, its body grows so big that the praying mantis has to shed the outer skin that protects it to make way for the new skin underneath. While waiting for the new skin to harden, the praying mantis has to be extra careful so it doesn't get injured or eaten by other animals. Praying mantises are carnivores. They don't eat plants. Oh, that means the praying mantis is not making my plant sick. Oh no, the praying mantis is losing its skin. It's molting. How do I protect the praying mantis? Should I move it? What if I hurt it? What should I do? Relax, Zari. We'll come over to help protect the praying mantis. Ranger out. Let's get going. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Don't worry, I'll protect you. Hi, Zari. We're here to help. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Oh, actually, the praying mantis is almost done shedding. <gasps> Stop right there, lizard! Shoo, shoo, go away! Uh-oh, frog alert! Stay away, froggy. Ah, not over there. No! <laughs> Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I've been documenting all the different types of insects in the neighborhood. Now I can add praying mantis to my list. Look, the praying mantis has shed its skin. Hmm, we should get the praying mantis somewhere safe while it's waiting for its new skin to harden. No problem, my friend Ranger Joey. The ranger who's no stranger to shedding light on safety matters can help us out. Hello, Ranger Joey. Ah, hello, Ranger Rocky, and hello, Junior Rangers. Our Junior Rangers are looking for a safe place for a praying mantis to live. Any suggestions? Of course. They usually live in places where there are lots of plants and greenery, like gardens and forests. They're really good at using plants to hide themselves. You see, praying mantises are usually green or brown in color, similar to the colors of leaves and plants, so they're able to blend in well with their surroundings, making them hard to spot by predators. Even when the plant moves in the wind, the praying mantis is able to copy the swaying movements of the plant to keep hidden. This also helps them to catch passing insects for a quick meal without being noticed by their prey. Thanks for the information, Ranger Joey. <laughs> You're welcome. Ranger, out. Ranger, out. I'm off to continue my documentation of insects. See you around, Junior Rangers. OK. Bye. See you. Let's get this praying mantis to a safe place in the forest. Here looks good. Go on. This is your new home now. You'll be safe here. <gasps> My tomato! <laughs> Get that back! Jetpack, Jetpack. activate! activate. Oh, no, you don't. Stay away from the praying mantis. The monkey just wants the tomatoes. He'll probably go away if we give them to him. But my tomatoes. Uh, okay, okay. Here you go. There! 
Eat up! <laughs> now there's just one thing left to do. Yay! It's the perfect home! See ya! Bye! Stay safe! Mission accomplished! I'm glad we got the praying mantis to the forest safely. Ready for our next mission, Katie? Yep! Let's do this! Hero, come get this yummy treat! Gotcha! Say cheese! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hero, we'll get it off. You need to stop moving. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Huh? A bee? Shoo! Shoo! Ah! Poor bees! Go away! Leave me alone! Ah! What is it, Katie? What does it do? Just a moment, Leo. Ready, hero? Okay, here goes. Repel dog. It doesn't work? Just need to make a few adjustments. Let's try again. Repel dog. Wow, how did you do that? My device sends out sounds or smells to attract or repel animals. But I can't hear or smell anything. I used a high-pitched sound that only dogs can hear. Let's try getting Hero back here. Attract dog! Awesome! What other animals does it work on? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Leo! Bees are chasing me! Help! A bee problem? I'll find out more right away. Hang in there, Zari. See you later, hero. Let's see what we have. Oh, those are Asian honeybees. Asian honeybees are found in many parts of Asia, including India, China, Indonesia, and Singapore. Bees are important to the environment as they help to pollinate plants by carrying pollen from one plant to another. Without bees, there would be fewer plants, which means less food, medicine, and even air to breathe. Ah! Are you okay, Zari? More bees are swarming around. Oh, I've got just the thing to help. We'll be right there, Zari. Ranger out. There's no time to waste. I'm buzzing down. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we go! go. Leave it to me. Repel bees. Huh? The bees are still here. Give me a moment. Katie, your device didn't repel the bees. I think it attracted bigger ones. Bigger bees? Here, just look for more information. Uh, how do I turn it on? It is on. Hmm, where is it? Animal information. Got it. It says, bees don't usually attack people unless disturbed. Really? Oh. <gasps> so all we have to do is keep away from the bees. Uh-oh. Those big ones aren't bees. They're hornets. And hornets are predators of bees. Oh, no, you don't. 
change to hornets and repel. <gasps> Whoa! Still not working? Uh, it attracted squirrels. Come on, work. Repel, repel. Katie, hurry. Done. Repel squirrels. Not again! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Got you, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Thanks for saving us! I was checking up on some squirrel friends when they all ran off. I followed them and saw you. Sorry, I guess my invention still needs work. We have to find another way to protect the bees from the hornets. Let's call our friend Ranger Joey, the ranger who's no stranger to buzzers and stingers. I'm sure she can help us figure out how to save the bees. Hello, Ranger Joey. Is that insect repellent? Hi, Ranger Rocky. Yes, I was just about to leave for a jungle trek, but how can I help? Speaking of repellents, the junior rangers are looking for a way to keep hornets away from Asian honeybees. Bees have good reason to fear hornets. When hornets find a hive, they'll take its honey, its larvae, and its pupae, which are the baby bees. Hornets can also fly faster than bees, so bees can't rely on speed to escape. Bees protect their hive by sting intruders, but only female bees have stingers, and once they sting and their stingers are pulled out, they die. Now about those hornets. Scientists have found honeybees defending their nest by coating the entrance with uh, cow dung. Cow dung? Wow, thanks, Ranger Joey. <laughs> You're welcome. Ranger out. Ranger out. We must protect the bees and their hive from those hornets. First, let's find the hive. Oh, we can follow them back to it. Good idea, Katie. Keep a safe distance. There's the hive. Ah! And there are the hornets. I know what to do, but I need a bit of time. I've got you covered. Stay away, hornets. More hornets. Katie, hurry. OK, done. Just need to. Huh? Oh, no. Where's the lever? We're on it. Jetpack. Over here, hero! Heads up, Katie. Got it! Repel Hornets! Good thinking, Katie. <laughs> You're safe now, bees. Well done, Junior Rangers. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we kept the bees safe from the hornets. Attract pigeons. Whoa. Now let's repel pigeons. Huh? Out of batteries? <laughs> Some new batteries coming right up. Good job, children. You are amazing wildlife rangers. 